Today marks one year since being sworn into the presidency, but the president has been questioned over his handling of issues like inflation and the withdrawal from Afghanistan. I spoke today with Valley Congressman Dr. Raul Ruiz over how he sees the president's first year in action. Congressman Ruiz, according to a new poll from the Associated Press, right now more Americans disapprove than approve of how President Biden is handling his job, 56 percent to 43 percent. Why do you think that is and how do you think he's doing? Well, I think he's doing an incredible job. And let me tell you why. Uh, compare where we were before he took office with the pandemic and with the economy and the concerns and the anxiety that Americans felt regarding the uncertainty and the consistencies, inconsistencies that were coming from the administration. Since the president took office, we have had shots in arms. Uh, over 75% of the American people have been vaccinated. Uh, and the president's retail pharmacy federal program have brought uh, hundreds of, I mean, millions of vaccines throughout our nation. And in particular, right here in the Coachella Valley, where we have some communities like Mecca who are like 96% vaccinated. Uh, and we're seeing the difference uh, in the toll that that's made in helping us deal with the Omicron right uh, surge right now. So shots in arms. Next, he has also helped put people back in jobs. The incredible outreach and delivery of aid to small businesses, especially bringing the uh, tens of millions home uh, here in the Coachella Valley for restaurants and theaters and other venues have made a tremendous ability to keep our small businesses open for uh, our jobs, including the fact that the uh, bipartisan Biden infrastructure law will add 1.5 million jobs a year for the next 10 years. And that's on top of the 6.5 million jobs already created uh, this past year uh, alone and uh, dropping the unemployment rate from 6.7 to about 3.9% uh, all the way down to pre-pandemic levels. And we're seeing that job growth and here in the Coachella Valley, uh, we're having a renaissance in the Valley as CVEP has repeatedly said that we're having an economic boon and we're preparing for one as well. So people in jobs. Next, we had schools, the uh, students in schools. That came as a big relief for our parents who were struggling to go to work. Some had to stay out of work to take care of their kids. And because of the American Rescue Plan, a historic relief uh, provided to schools to keep our children safe in schools with equipment uh, and the ability to help our schools sustain their costs during the pandemic, our kids, our unified school districts are open and our kids are going to school in a safe environment. Let me ask you, Congressman, as of now, just 28 percent of Americans say they want Biden to run for reelection in 2024, including only 48 percent of Democrats. Do you think he should run for reelection? Given the track record that he just had, I do believe that he should run for reelection. And once the, the shovels hit the ground and the hard hats are visible in our communities and you're starting to see the road repairs and our bridges repairs and you're starting to see that our kids are going to remain in school, our business are going to be humming and that we have we see the uh, renaissance in the valley on our economic boon, then I think that there's going to be uh, there's going to be a difference in, in perception right now. How concerned are you, Congressman, about inflation? I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned about inflation. I'm concerned about the increased costs. I mean, my wife, Monica, when she goes to the grocery store and sometimes we shop together, we bring home a, a, large, uh, a large amount of, uh, of payment that we had. I mean, you can feel it in the gas tanks as well. So American families are, are struggling with the cost of living. That is why it's so important that we focus on the solutions. And that's what I'm doing. That's my number one priority is to keep my constituents safe from the Omicron, making sure that that our small businesses and our economy is booming so that people can have a job to go to and that we reduce the cost of living. All right, Congressman, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Let us know what you think of Biden's first year as president. Take our latest poll on our website, KESQ.com.